finish off week four with a good Monday night matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. down car he finds his man complete that's Jenkins and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds give him three there on the first play of the game and it's second down three brings up second and seven First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And the next-gen stat's going to show his top speed on that one, and that is a very impressive number. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now Carr, and he fins him off. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked by Kenneth Murray. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Certainly not the cleanest of starts to this football game. Back-to-back -back plays yield turnovers in this first quarter. So there's not much flow right now. A very choppy game. And I know this. It's a copycat league. We say it all the time about the NFL. But I'm not quite sure this is what they had in mind about something they wanted to emulate. No, you don't want to emulate a turnover. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Second down at five. Now Carr. That's complete to John Ross. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, it used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but... He's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved as a thrower. Now he can push the ball downfield, but still, the number one things you want to take away, short passes, intermediate passes. So sharp, precise, and accurate, you've got to sit on those routes in order to cause him problems. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. Going deep downfield for Ross. They got his man complete. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. Well, 
partner, that's how you make a long drive. Suddenly, not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Into the red zone. It's Carr. He finds his man complete. That's Jenkins. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. From the two, here's first and goal. going to go jet sweep here. This is Ross with it. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Jacobs, and he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. 